Hey everybody, welcome to uh, another review for tonight. Now, um, this is my second video that I'm doing, and like I said before, I wanted to do a combination of um, the new Panda Cloud Antivirus Free Edition and Komodo Firewall. Um, what I did is I first installed Komodo, and then I restarted, and then I installed uh, Panda. Now the one thing I do change when I install uh, two security suites, especially something uh, running alongside Komodo, is I go into Defense Plus, I go to Defense Plus settings, uh, Execution Control settings, and under Exclusions here, I add the whole Panda security folder. Um, you go to Add, Browse, and um, then you just go and you browse to the folder, and I add the whole folder there. I leave everything else just like it is, uh, sandbox is enabled. Um, let me show you here. Firewalls on safe mode, defense plus on safe mode, sandbox is enabled, and configuration is just internet security. Um, the reason why you can do that other than uh, letting this defense plus that uh, execution control um, is that Panda security is also on the trusted uh, software vendors list. So uh, you have no problem when you install it. There you go. So they're there. Um, and that should really take care of any uh, problems if the two have uh, any weird interactions in between them. So uh, that being said, let's uh, do a test. These are the exact same links that I used in the Panda test by itself. and. Uh, I'd recommend you go watch that one to see how it turned out. Okay, so you do have the uh, the toolbar here from uh, And you can pick whatever you want, shopping. I'll just clear all these out. Um, I'd only probably keep these two buttons activated. So let's uh, get started in doing some links here. I know that first one didn't work out that well last time, but let's try it this time, see what happens. I don't know if these are working or not. Okay, it looks like that one got sandboxed. I sort of that one. I doubt these are working uh, like they should be. So let's just keep going here. Okay, that one, um, which one was that one? Let's see here. VK Hacker is a uh, cloud scanner, has a suspicious um, rating for it. And the 7Z setup SFX thing um, also has, uh, it wants unlimited access, so we're going to sandbox that. So this is uh, popping up as suspicious. Creates an auto run record. So we'll uh, we'll close that one up. Have to open up Internet Explorer again here. Okay, that one was caught by uh, 
Cloud AV from Komodo. Didn't see anything come up from uh, from Panda. Now this might be a uh, a good application. I'm not sure on that one. That one I know is just a text file that needs to be re. That one's not going to work for the test we're doing right now. Okay, that one was sandboxed. That one wants unlimited access, and it's not going to get it because it's an unknown program. So that's definitely never going to, never going to let that get the access it wants. Okay, it looks like uh, Panda caught that one before any, uh, before I got a chance to be caught by uh, Komodo, which is good to see. This one doesn't work, that, that main one, so we're going to skip and go down to the uh, to the next one here. And I don't know if that one's working anymore or not. We'll just uh, skip over that one. That one actually might have stopped working. So I'm just going to get some more links here to really put it to the test. Um, let me get some more links here and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got a couple more links here. I got uh, Internet Explorer to open back up again. So let me try that last link again, because for some odd reason it wasn't responding, and now it is. Okay, Internet Explorer wants to run this program, so I'm going to actually let it do that, because I want to see what happens. Okay, that one was blocked by Komodo uh, DNS, but I'll disregard the warning and continue. Okay, that one was caught by Panda. That one once again caught by uh, Komodo DNS, but doesn't look like it's working anymore. And let's try this last one here. Okay, that one was put in sandbox. Looks like a fake AV there. Yep, we definitely have a, we have a bat file here. We'll terminate that. And I'm going to restart here, and I'll be back when restarting is done. Okay, so finally restarted the computer here, and uh, already the combination of these two products is doing much better than it was uh, than Panda was doing by itself, because it didn't automatically log me out and throw me out of the, uh, the computer. So this time, I'm going to do an optimized scan, um, so I, we don't spend the next couple of hours <laughs> waiting for it to finish scanning. And I'll be back when that's done with uh, whatever it finds. And then after that, we're I'm gonna scan with um, Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro and see if that finds anything uh, left over. So I will be right back. All right, guys. Um, it just uh, Panda here finished scanning and it didn't find anything. And right now I'm in uh, in the middle of doing a scan with Malwarebytes at the same time that Panda was scanning to see if it finds anything. And I'm also going to do a scan with um, 
Hitman Pro and I'll be back when these two are done. Okay, so <clears throat> Malwarebytes finished scanning here and it didn't find anything so that's good to see. Now I'm gonna do a scan with Hitman Pro and I'll be back when this is done scanning. Okay, so um, Hitman Pro finished scanning here and it's kinda funny that um, Previx here identifies the Panda, the new Panda uh, toolbar as riskware. So that's kind of interesting. Um, Adware. So um, they might want to take care of that uh, false positive there. Uh, but other than that, um, that was the only thing that I saw uh, that came up. Um, I did disable the antivirus here while I was scanning and that was uh, from that last rogue that we saw that tried to run. But uh, as you can see, the combination of these two um, should work. I've heard a couple people having some problems with them working, um, but I think most of the problems are uh, going to be solved if when you install Komodo, you leave everything like it is from the factory and then you just set up uh, the execution control here at under the exclusions and exclude out the whole Panda folder. I think that'll solve most of the problems that, um, that people were having. Let's just check out uh, RAM usage here if um, everybody put together, see what kind of... Uh... So let's see here. Okay, these are just the interfaces. Uh, let's see. There's one from Panda, 33 megs. There's a CMD agent from uh, Komodo, 15 megs, and these two. So you're looking, uh, I don't know, uh, 30, 60, 70 megs right now. Now I suspect a lot of these will go down once everything quiets down a little bit on the computer here. Um, we were scanning and doing a lot of different things with it. so. Um, I suspect that these will go down with time, like uh, you can see this went down to one one or three megs, and the rest of these will go down along with it too. So that's not bad at all. So you guys, I'd uh, definitely recommend you want if you want to try this out, um, give it a try and uh, let me know in my video if you like how it works, and if you have any problems or anything like that, let me know. And uh, that's it for this review. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and have a good night.